Okay, hello. Uh, I didn't hit record. I just re did all of this, but it didn't record. So we're going to do it again. Welcome to Harvest Moon. I wanted to show off my farm and the stuff around the town. Uh, and then I'll play one day. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish the game on my own. And I'll come back and record the ending to show what I got. But this is the big upgraded house. We have our TV. Let's just know it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow in the summertime. Hot day. Uh, this is our wife. This child grows pretty quickly, just a little bit, but he started to speak words. So this is one child, boo boo, boo boo, da da, and this is the second child, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, da da. I think this is second child and this is first child. I think that only because this is where first child hung out all the time while second child was crawling over here. So latest funds, 1.1 million. I got over a million by myself just from working hard no cheats exploits or any of the other such so that's pretty exciting i i wanted to do that and i did it <clears throat> tough claws toast chickens dog shro horse clyde uh this is our clock which when we got it allowed us to see what time it is when we press select it's friday the 22nd of summer 6 a.m now gonna have a good day today uh that's your save and go to sleep button this little totem turtle looking thing uh prevents hurricanes i don't know i don't think it fully prevents them because i think i got one I, I reset i save scubbed it but i did get one all right so now let's look around the farm oh no birds this time <clears throat> so we have our cow barn so i just want you to see see how slow i am the slowdown the like frames okay this is because i have 12 cows if you have nine or ten cows it doesn't do that so when I replay tomorrow, this day, to show you how my day goes, I have 990 pieces of feed. I refill it every couple days just because I want to make sure it's close to full. We have our chicken coop. We have our 12 chickens and the 12 eggs that are out and about. I give an egg to my wife every other day. I give it to her on odd days <clears throat> because it. if you go to sleep at night after 6 p.m., uh, she's already asleep, so she gets upset about that. So it lowers her happiness. And I want her happiness to stay maxed out. I think it lowers it by two. So on one day it lowers it by two. Next day it lowers it by two. But then I give her an egg and it brings it back up by five or something like that. So it pretty much keeps her max happy. Um, just because I want her happiness maxed out for the end of the game scoring. Okay, so now let's take a trot around. So we have our two barns there. This is our tool shed. Uh... We have our golden axe, hammer, hoe, sickle, sprinkler, brush. I have the milker and the bell. Uh, there's paint. This is where my seeds would be. There's only two crops in spring, potatoes and turnips, and only two crops in summer, tomatoes and corn and grass seeds. And then there's some special seeds you get throughout the game for like the magic beanstalk and stuff like that. Uh, now down here, this is where the little underground sprites are. Have you seen a mole? It scares the cows. Out. Better kick it out of the fence right away. They give you advice. I think they give you a power berry for like maybe helping one of them that's trapped under a rock or something like that. Uh, and it's a shortcut across your farm. But time still passes in here as opposed to normal buildings where time never passes. So I'm going to come out the well on the other end of my farm. So these are my crop rows. Uh, we have tomatoes and corn everywhere so let's trot up here we just have grass covering the rest of the farm that's not cropped because uh you get points for having ground cover at the end of the game so my entire farm is covered uh except where i can't like right here we got the little ponds for when you were using the normal uh watering can at the beginning of the game 10 out of 10 power berries back of my house my wood pile i have 997 wood Here's my horse. You can ride him around. He's got some saddlebags. Uh, shipping container, but you can also ship by just dumping in the saddlebags. So I'll show you how I harvest when I play the day. But yeah, so we just have all the crops down here. This is the other end. And then they meet up in the middle here. The well I came out of, or it's a tree actually, not a well. So that's the farm. Welcome and goodbye. <laughs> I think my name is Urza because it had it can only be four letters and I just 
I couldn't think of something for Spiegel that fit. Uh, my lunch. So this is the mountain. They got logs you can chop. Uh, for if you want to get there's flowers to bring to the ladies. A fisherman. These guys wandering around are the builders that upgrade your house. Uh, this is the harvest sprite spring. So you throw your axe in there or you drop your axe in there. She asks you if you drop the golden axe. You say no. By telling the truth, she gives you the good axe. That's one of the ladies' grandpas. I can't remember their names because they're all shorter. They're still like Anne and I think my wife may be Rosa. She's potpourri in all the other games, but they're only four letter names. So yeah, we have the... Uh, these herbs in here in this cave, you can come in here in the winter time and grab one. And because when you pick an item up, you just carry it above your head. You don't have a backpack or anything. Uh, and you run it all the way back to your farm, dump it in the item box, and come back and do it. So you can do that twice a day. <laughs> so in the winter time, that's like the only way to make money besides livestock. So that's what I did. Both winters. That's the hot spring to refill your energy. That's just one of the wild fruit you can also harvest and sell. Um, and then the mountain goes all the way up to the peak here, which is where there's a little bitty, bitty bit of patch of ground right up there, right here. That's where you can plant the magic beans that grow the beanstalk up to the hat clouds and you can get the uh, golden chicken egg, which sells for 10,000 gold, which is a lot, but it eats up an entire day. So I did it just for completion's sake. Um, not really worth it, but I wanted to do it. <clears throat> and there's also like a frost seed you can get for uh, at the flower festival, I think, that grows a power berry. So this is the town. So we have our livestock vendor, our tool vendor, the cafe, the bar, which is the only thing open at night. So we're going to the bar. This is one of our bachelorettes. It doesn't get cool at night. That's because it's summertime. Bartender, drunken person, the witch, whoever this guy is. He's somebody. He's somebody's parent. And then this is the bar, the girl at front's diary. Found the diary. Read? Sure. So you see 10 out of 10 hearts. Uh, I have maxed out 10 hearts with every bachelorette available in the game because again i want to have the best scoring i can at the end of the game without doing the like counting because like the way this game scores we'll talk about it more when we get there but it like it's at the like 256 limit because of the bits bit size so if you go over 256 it kind of resets your score so you want to like ship exactly 256 tomatoes or 512 tomatoes or 768 tomatoes you know a multiple of 256 so this is the town square where all the festivals happen once it takes 6 p.m it just stays 6 p.m forever too um this is the mayor's house his daughter is one of the bachelorettes the girl in the barn the girl whose dad owns the tool shop uh the girl at the animal place whose name is ann uh this is the church which is, I think, where the mayor's daughter hangs out. I think she's the, like, quote-unquote, none of this game. The flower shop, which is where my wife is from. This is, there's, like, a traveling merchant that comes here. He sells you a couple items throughout the game, but he also buys stuff. He's, like, here only on Sunday, I think, which the shops are closed on weekends. And you can bring him stuff, like a single item, and he'll buy it for double price. So if I brought him that herb from the cave, instead of getting, like, 300 from shipping it, I get 600 from him. And this is the little witch slash fortune teller's house. She gives you some advice and stuff throughout the game, but she's not really too useful. And that's the whole town. That's the tour of everything that there is. So now we're going to play an actual day like I would play the day. So I'm going to load the save again. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk to my wife. Morning, morning is so nice and bright today. I'm going to talk to my kids. I'm going to check the weather. been hot recently weather forecast tomorrow is fair i hope you can end up hearing my buttons because they get loud on this needle for whatever reason so i grab my dog uh you don't have to bring your dog outside every day i think you have to hug your dog a hundred times which is just doing this 
But I bring my dog outside every day because he likes it outside. Duh. So I bring him out, deposit him, go run off to the farm. So again, remember the slowdown that was happening before? So I'm gonna ring my bell. Ring my bell. Come on. Shove a few of them out of the front door. Ah, dang it. Come back over here. Oh, shit. It's fine. No time passes while you're in these buildings. So, it's fine. Dang it. My monitors keep turning off. Because I'm not actually interacting with the computer in any way. Ugh. cow shove it out shove it out okay so that's three cows out so now i'm at a normal speed again so i can milk i can deposit the milk so this is four Should be nine. I missed entirely. Seven. It's been a long time since I played this. Eight. Also, my cows, my, the way I named my cows. So we have Muji, Moog, Mue, Mua, Moody, Mood, Mui, Mui. So yeah, they're all named just Mu with a lowercase letter at the end, A through L. them that way to see which ones I pushed out or whenever you leave and come back in they reset to their proper stalls so I'm going to show you how I finished the cow. so I do all of these and do all the feeding while I have the nine in here so that it's uh I don't have all that lag to fight through because the lag is just frustrating and I just deal with it on rainy days because I'm scared my cows will get sick accidentally for being outside for like two minutes Okay, so that's that. So I'm gonna run out and then run back in. Okay, so we have B. Uh, what are you? G. No, I and K. B, I and K. So then I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna push them down so that they don't wander left or right because they'll all start walking down. Then I'm gonna run around in front and push them back up. Wasting time. Get in there. Go in. Oh, you fucker. Go in. Okay. So we'll go back to our laggy cow simulator. <laughs> so we have B. It, you see, it is significant lag. It's insane. It's really surprising that this got pushed out like this. And I've heard that this is true all the time. So it's not just because I'm playing on an emulator and not legit Super Nintendo hardware. So they're all taken care of and they're all fed. So now we're gonna go off to our chicken coop. Now, like I said, I give my wife eggs on odd days. So today is not an odd day, it's the 22nd. 
So we'll go ahead and toss all the eggs into the shipping box. Feed all of our chickens in the process. Uh, I like to try and keep count. I think this is four or five. That's five. Okay, you were five. I think six. Yeah. Because sometimes a chicken will be sleeping. See how these chickens are sleeping? On an egg. And you cannot see the egg, really. You kind of can. And the chicken will be stuck there. So if it wakes up, it'll try to walk around and it just won't move. <laughs> so... Uh, you kind of have to count, keep a count and make sure you're not leaving any eggs behind accidentally. Okay, move it. And you gotta watch them because they'll team up and they'll totally block off the dang shipping container. And you can't, once you're holding the egg, you can't, there's nowhere to store it. <clears throat> So you have to wait for them to move out of your way or go outside to the normal shipping container, which just wastes a bunch of time. So, uh, so that's all our eggs harvested. I'm going to need you to get the hell out of my way. Stop. Thank you. All the chickens fed. This is the incubator. You put an egg in uh, and it takes, I think, three days to hatch and then seven days of feeding or you don't have to feed the chicks but seven days they grow into a full-size chicken so it's like it's not profitable so you, i think you sell eggs for 50 a day a piece and uh you sell chickens for 500 so if you sell a chicken and then ha like grow a new chicken it's 10 days without an egg so it's you actually break even so you, once you have your 12 chickens there's no point to sell any of them you can bring them outside too but i don't know why i think they eat if there's grass and you don't have to feed them but you just grow a bunch of grass and you harvest it it's like really pretty simple okay so now we go out and we're going to do our harvesting like we do so we're going to hop on a horse we're going to find a row of food do like this. I actually did it on the wrong side of the horse, but that's okay. I'll make it up in a second. And you just do this as fast as possible. If you hold up and jump off of the horse, you jump off on the left side. If you press down and jump off the horse, you jump off on the right side. So I can whistle for my horse. I did the wrong whistle. So I don't have to run quite so far. So usually every like third or fourth one. So I'm a whistle now. I'm gonna pick this and come here. It's like a weird dance. Come along. Because you want to get as much done as possible. Oh shit. Why did you pick that up, you idiot? down in here the logs actually don't need to be there anymore I just kind of left them there for aesthetics uh, and they count as covered spaces of ground I didn't have to waste money on seed bags for like two little spots or anything uh, I had them there because in the springtime wrong whistle uh, the horse so the springtime crops don't leave stalks behind when you harvest them, they're gone. And you have to plant a new bag of seeds. Uh, so the horse would wander off. So the way I'm doing it now, I couldn't have done it then. Like you can't harvest and then whistle the horse after you. You have to like put it in the crops and kind of harvest and then jump on it and ride it a little bit and then hop off and harvest. It's way more complicated and a bit slower. Not that I did great on this harvesting trip, but <clears throat> it's slower even than my mediocr mediocrity today. Um, and so the things on the little wood stakes on the end were replaced to stick the horse so it wouldn't run off up or down. So you could like, you know, harvest and toss them in as efficiently as possible. Okay, good. 
that all your shipping? It costs 14,400 gold. So I made 14,400 today. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I make on just the chickens and cows. But there's 12 chickens times 50, so that's 600. And then the cows are like another... You get like 120, I think, per milk. Or maybe it's like 140, 160. My cows are max happy, so I get the biggest milks. Uh, but it's a lot. It's a significant amount of money from the cows. Um, from the 12 cows. And so... Yeah. So the rest is from corn, just because corn is the highest selling crop and it regrows itself after three days, so it's like the best crop. So he's gonna take my, my crops and bring me money tomorrow. I am gonna come get the sprinkler. And I'm gonna go a watering. I don't have anything else to do. It hasn't rained recently in the game, so I don't need, so this water's a nine square area, but like, this is the first harvest moon, so you cannot walk through crops. So you can't just plant the whole area. Yeah, it gets very dark. So you only have to water the crops that you harvest or that you have harvested in recent days that haven't grown back all the way yet. So all those tomatoes right below me, I don't need to water that. All right, so I'm at 50% energy. I think I get five more sprinkles oh oh there is something for me to do see this wood's broken that's from a rainstorm so i'll fix that tonight as well <clears throat> so yeah these are all harvested so we're going to water them i'm going to water everything that's available to water just because i'm kind of a glutton for punishment all right so i should get another three or four before i like sit down three yep sit down and then i get three more waters And I'm full exhausted, flat out, can't do any more work. So, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna grab the hammer just because I need it to break that broken fence. So, I grab the hammer. And now, this t the tediousness ensues. So, we're gonna trot off to the. hot spring that we looked at earlier so it's nighttime it's really darker it's really not that dark on the screen it's pretty dark on my Vita I think that's to do with the OLED screen though maybe so yeah we're gonna come in here it's one two three four I need eight because I don't need this fruit also. Something smells so strong. Yep, yep. have a nice little lime. Uh, I don't need that fruit because th the hot spring, if I remember correctly, like I said, it's been literally months since I played this and I started it like a year and a half ago. Uh, the hot spring restores 25 energy and because I got all 10 power berries, I have 200 energy. So ergo, I need eight to fill myself up. One of these. Am I off? Okay. Sometimes you're like a little too far over this way and you'll only, you'll water, you'll miss this one and you have to go back and do an extra water. Waste energy, waste time. It's real frustrating. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going and water all the plants I have to water, which is a lot. I guess it's, you know three days worth of harvest because that's about how long it takes them to grow back so we'll water and keep going this is the row we were on when we got exhausted <clears throat> so we'll run into where we got to looks like i'm not gonna i'm gonna have to go back to the hot spring one more time i think so then we'll go down to this row should sit down now oh no it's this one okay so i got six more that i can do sit down now and water all my things are exactly like multiples of three wide 
because that's how the seeds go out. So I planted grass all in spots like this because that's just like before I had I did have crops here, so I had like one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a gap because I didn't want to waste seeds or money. And then from here I had like one, two, three, one, two, three, I think. Or maybe I didn't have seeds planted here because I would just run into this and I couldn't get out. So yeah, I must not have had seeds planted here because I wouldn't have had any way to get in. And then over here, it was like one, two, three, one, two, three. So they had two from this and then this was empty. It was just a fiasco. It wasn't efficient to harvest them or water them. Okay, so we're all, everything that was is still growing back is now watered. So now that I know I have a broken fence, I'm gonna go fix it. So you have to smash the broken fence and then get some new wood. I'm just going to go look because I really wasn't paying attention. Make sure no other fences got broken in the last storm. Every time it rains, your fences break, basically. One or two around the farm breaks. If you get a bunch break, then wild dogs start coming. It lowers your score. It's bad all around. If you have animals outside, they'll get eaten, specifically the chickens. Okay, so let's go grab a hunk of wood. I always... Also, so I'm gonna fix this and I'll tell you. Boop. Nice. I also always check the weather before I go to bed. Well, I check it in the morning. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why. Because if there's gonna be a hurricane, I don't wanna deal with that shit. So I have my milker and my bell back for tomorrow morning. I'll go straight to the cow pen. Um, so yeah, the hurricane, like, close your farm down for a full day you can't feed your animals they all get sick uh your crops don't get watered a lot of stuff gets destroyed and broken your crops and your fences like random stuff will get deposited on your farm so like i'll just randomly have a rock here that'll kill this grass and i'd have to replant it because i want to have full coverage at the end of the game um so i'll always check in the morning and then i know oh because it saves right before you go to bed and i always save state right before i go to bed as well uh, because you know then, okay, if I wake up and there's going to be a hurricane the next day, I just reset to the previous save and I try again. <laughs> because I bought the, I won the Lucky Charm in the Horse Festival? Fire Festival? I don't know. Uh, but I won the Lucky Charm to not have hurricanes. So if they bring hurricanes, I'm not happy about it. So I don't deal with that. I'm going to bring my dog inside. I don't, again, don't have to because it's not going to rain tomorrow, but I do every day. So everyone's sleeping, look how it's fucking adorable this is still have the crib even though the baby's out of it but i guess they couldn't really program it to disappear or reappear and disappear but look how cute they are in their little cow onesies oh my god it's so absurd okay so we'll go ahead so the last time i played was in july <laughs> uh so we'll go ahead and save here i this is just from i was just messing around the other day so Okay, so then I can go back. Uh, circle. I had to remember. Shall I write in my diary before I go to bed? Yep. So then we wake up, eat our rice uh, dumpling. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. So that's Harvest Moon. That's my farm. That's my daily routine. It is now the 23rd of summer. So uh, this this is year three so there's 30 days per month or per season you have spring summer fall winter spring summer fall winter spring summer game ends on the 30th of summer of year three so you get two and a half years to do as much as you can i have done a lot <clears throat> i really just wanted to max out this game which i feel like i've done other than you know getting dating every person but the wives don't really interact with you once you're married they do a few things and they say they have some like unique dialogue lines like when it's springtime she talks about how nice it is shop is closed because it's saturday today i don't know if they she's the only one that tells me that because she's from the flower shop but <coughs> um the delivery man still comes and picks up my crops on saturdays and sundays so that's no big deal for me and what else um yeah, so I think I'm going to mark this as complete when I'm done with it because I got a million dollars. Oh, I'm going to have over a million dollars. And I did 
literally everything in the game. I won every festival. I got all the bonus seeds and stuff. I did everything. So, other than going back and replaying it, which I'm never going to do because I'm going to move on to the newer ones. I just always wanted to play this, Harvest Moon. Uh, since way back I saw it in Nintendo Power when it came out on Super Nintendo. I always wanted to play it. always wanted to play it. I never could get it. And it came out on the uh, eShop on the like Wii maybe or the Wii U. So finally I was able to get it. And then I ended up just getting an emulator and putting it on my Vita anyway because it was more convenient for me to play that way. So that's my farm. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, retro retrospective. Look through an old game that I've been playing offline for a long time. And I'm finally figured out how to record it <coughs> because I did want to show off some of my progress in some of the game. And, uh, and so I just wanted to share it with everyone. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next stream. So make sure you check me out twitch.tv slash spiegel22. I play a lot of retro games. I have a huge backlog that I'm working my way through. I'm sure you can find that in the description of this video. So thanks again and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.